and welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey. Do you have any pieces in your home that are in excellent condition? They're just outdated. This piece is a perfect example of that. It is from the 60s or 70s. It is all solid wood. I believe it is maple, mostly on the top there. And of course, it needed a monster truck. You can't have an outdated table without having a monster truck on the top. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is add a ton of historic character to this piece because it has really great bones and I want to update it to today's new trends. All of the high-end designs and all of the new trends that are on Pinterest and on Instagram and these huge influencers are doing all this amazing historic work. It is all about classic, historic, and adding character to things that are new to make them look old. And while this piece was vintage, it is not historic or antique. So we're going to make it look as though it is. The color that I chose to paint on this piece is a nautical deep blue color and I believe it was from Wise Owl. I just put it in a separate container a while back ago because it's easier for me to open and close containers like this instead of paint cans. But it is such a deep, beautiful, historic, dark blue color. I was debating whether to do black because right now black is very in. We had all that time where everything was painted white and now we have flipped that completely where now everything is getting painted black. Everything. I've been watching shows on HGTV and everything is turning into all black and black accents. But for this piece, I thought a navy blue would do it more justice for that historic look. I think it would have been a little too modern looking had I painted it black. The top was in excellent condition, just needed some touch-ups here and there. So I'm going to leave the top in that maple color, but for the base of it, I love that two-tone look and it also is a very historic look and maybe even like a um, European English cottage look or early American primitive look. Tell me what you think about this color combo. What do you think? What style does it give for you? <laughs> and that's just what I think, but everybody has their own interpretation of things like this. Now, if you are watching this and thinking that you have a piece just like that, that you wish you could update, make it look historic, or one thing that I love doing, which is taking hand-me-downs from your family members that have meaning, but don't necessarily match your style and making them into a new look while still keeping the memories and keeping that feeling of joy when you see the piece or the reminder of somebody that you care about. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that there's a lot of pieces in my house that are like that, that are from people in my family who have either passed away or I don't live close to anymore. And they're very meaningful to me. Even if I've done a makeover on them, I still think of that person when I see them. When I mentioned that the top just needed a little bit of touch up, this is what I meant by that. I just hand sanded the spots that were scuffed or scratched, and then I cleaned it all off with water and a paper towel. A good way to know if a piece was stained or if it was just the color of the wood with polyurethane on it is to wipe it down with a wet rag. It will show you what it would look like with just clear poly. So if when you do that, it looks exactly like the rest of the wood, then you know you can just use some clear polyurethane over that and those pieces will then completely match the rest of the piece. I'm using some polycrylic, which is a water-based. I like to use water-based, especially indoors, because it doesn't have a strong smell to it and I'm very sensitive to strong smells like that. For the rest of the piece, I did two coats of that chalk paint, and then when I flipped it right side up, I just did touch-ups on parts that I had missed while it was upside down, and went over the whole rest of it with a clear enamel. This stuff smells like nail polish, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but it is a really budget-friendly, quick way to get a perfect finish on pieces with lots of curves and crevices like this does with the beadboard on the side and the curved legs and everything. It's just going to make it look more high-end and more expensive with that perfect finish that was sprayed on and you don't need a spray gun for it. Now I'm going to just eyeball on these handles here. I had these cup pulls off of Amazon and I have them linked in my Amazon store down below. They are dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. You cannot find cup pulls cheaper in store ever. <laughs> Amazon has the best prices 100% and I am Sorry if you guys are perfectionists, but I am an eyeballer through and through, and I feel like I did a really good job eyeballing these to be all even and lined up with one another, and I just screwed them on with some screws. It comes with screws when you buy it from Amazon, but I had lost those, so I just had other in my a bunch of other screws in my stash that I used to match in there and screw it on that actually came from my kitchen cabinets. And voila, look at this drawer. It's such a huge drawer. 
I thought that this side table would make a really unique game table. Look at how beautiful and historic it looks in this really regal navy blue kind of nautical color. It gives it a completely new look, totally updates it while keeping it classic, and that is why I love this historic decor style that is going on right now where we're adding in character and antiques and pieces that stand out just like this. I mean, it stands out, but it's also like so subdued and regal and beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't say enough amazing things about this table. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit subscribe and like. And if you have any questions, comment them down below. See you next time. Bye.